was good with show. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get deep sea scales because apparently not a lot of people know how to actually get them. So I'm going to just show you guys how to get them in this episode. Well, not really episode, but video. So to make the process easier, you want to have these Pokemon right here. Well, not these Pokemon, but these abilities. So you want a Pokemon with compound eyes. So it increases your chance of getting a deep sea scale from 5% to 20%. In this case, I'm using Butterfree because it's super easy to get one of the first routes. Just get a Caterpie, evolve it. There you go. Next, you want a Pokemon with Frisk. I'm using a Noivern here, but you don't have to. I'm going to show you guys an easy way to get a Pokemon with Frisk. Uh, it's actually Shuppet, and I'll show you guys how to get Shuppet later. Next, you want a Pokemon with Rock Climb. This is for the fishing area I'm going to show you guys. And optionally, you could get a Pokemon with Suction Cups just to make it easier for the 100% fishing rate. But you don't need to. But I'm going to show you guys how to get Shuppet. Oh yeah, there's another Pokemon, Duskull. He also has Frisk, but in my case, I don't, I don't have one with Frisk. But in order to get those Pokemon with Frisk, you would just want to head to Rose Cove. Not Ro yeah, Rose Cove, right? Yeah. And you just want to follow me. From here, you want to go to this little entrance thing right here. You might want to, well, you don't need to, but I'm putting repel just to make this easier on myself. Just to make this video faster for you guys. And you want to head over to this spooky looking area, I guess. So it's going to be a big haunted house. And in there, you can find Duskull and Shuppet, which have a chance of having Frisk. And yeah. Just hop in here, and if you get lucky, you might get one fr with Frisk. They're not really that rare, so I feel like it's the easiest way to find one with Frisk. But anyways, to actually get the deep sea scale, you want to go to Kurgonis Cliffs. And from here, you want to actually go inside the mine. So let me just use another revive. You won't actually be searching for any Pokemon, you're actually going to be fishing. Because the Pokemon we're actually trying to search for is Chincho. It's the only Pokemon that has the Deep Sleep Scale, because there is no Blue Basculin, which was the original Pokemon with Deep Sea Scale, but there is none. And from here, you just want to start fishing. It has a 17% chance with the good rod and a 7% chance with the norm with the old rod. So it is a little bit rare. But it's not really that hard to get. So I'm just going to speed up until I get one. Like the Let's see if it has the deep sea scale on it. No guys, it does not have a deep sea scale. So we are going to have to keep on searching. Hey guys, you 
because we have found another Chincho. It only took another two encounters. Let's see if it has a deep sea scale this time. Yup, and look at that. It's found it's a deep sea scale. And from here, we can just catch it. Hopefully we can catch it. Alright, there you go. Easy. Now, it is a little bit tedious, but this is the easiest way to get it, I'll tell you that. So, I mean, if you're really trying to get the deep sea scale, like, this is really the best way. Because you know how to go through trading. Oh, what the? What? What? What just happened? Um. Uh, I'm I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna skip. Uh, to when I get out of the cliff. Okay, guys. All right, I'm finally out the cliff now. That was kind of weird. That was just kind of. I don't even know what that was. We kind of just like jump glitch. Now, from here, you want to find the Chincho you just caught. It's right here. And you just want to click on Take Item. And from there, you just go right here. And th there you go. That's your Deep Sea Scale. So, I, I hope you guys like the quick tutorial.